I'm sorry, Joe, but I can't let you do this. Okay. Hang on there, buddy. I know a diamond in the rough when I see one. What are you talking about, Bill? You, look, you can't just pluck someone off the street and put them behind a microphone. Of course you can. How do you think Edward R. Murrow was discovered? That is not how Edward R. Murrow was discovered. Don't try to confuse me with the facts. <laughs> Joe, don't let this nattering nabob of negativity break your spirit. Okay, look, enough fooling around. All right. I guess we'll just have to agree to disagree on this one. Trying to reason with savages is thirsty business. I'm gonna go get another cup of coffee. <laughs> Look, Joe, I'm sorry. I can't let you do this. It's okay, man. I don't care. All right, great. But you got to get somebody in here because we're back in the air in 15 seconds. Right. Uh, Dude, Bill just I, went I, to I the break room. Uh, you got to get somebody. I can cover it, man. Uh, it's uh, no uh, big deal. Okay, Seriously. sure you know what you're doing? Yeah, right. I just got one question. What does this mean? You're listening to Winnix. What's that? That's W-N-Y-X, Joe. I'm kidding. Relax, <laughs> Joe. All right, good luck. No problem. W-N-Y-X News Time, 1021. This is Joe Gorelli filling in for Catherine Duke. The world of stock car racing was shaken today when NASCAR legend Travis Sullivan announced his retirement. Sullivan, a three-time Winston Cup winner, has been on the circuit for 30 years, plans to spend more time with his family. In local sports, Knicks reserve guard Jeff Washington goes under the knife for a tenolysis on his injured right ring finger tendon later today. A tenolysis? That sounds complicated. What is it, Joe? It doesn't say here, Bill, but I believe it's a semi-invasive surgical procedure to remove scar tissue from the proximal and distal junctions of a ruptured tendon. You don't say. In other local news, the state oh. school's chief <laughs> What's so funny? I just don't think Bill was expecting that. Okay, you were right. He's not working out at all. <laughs> I just wanted to apologize to you. I shouldn't have put Joe in the booth. Oh, no need to apologize. Joe's doing great. I know, but I overstepped my boundaries. Um, so I just thought I'd let you guys know we've gotten like 50 calls in the past hour for Joe. People love him. <laughs> hey, that's great. So why did you pick Joe? Oh, I've always thought of myself as something of a mentor to our lower level oh, employees. Uh, and, and Bill, when you get back to the booth, could you tell Joe that Cindy from the Bronx thinks he is all that and a bag of chips? <laughs> I'll pass that along. Oh, and could you also tell him that- Thanks, Lisa. Thank you. <laughs> Fine. I put Joe on the air because I didn't want anyone any better to get that much air time. I thought Joe would make me look good. Well, it looks like you've been hoisted on your own petard. <laughs> look, he can be slow-witted, but there's no need for name-calling. <laughs> At any rate, I've learned a valuable lesson. Good. And I apologize. Good. Now get him off the air. No. Why not? Because he's good. And we're not going to change anchors three times in one day just to accommodate your personal whims. OK. The cold front is expected to reach the city by morning, with temperatures dropping to the low 20s. I hate to put you on the spot, but what's causing that cold front, Joseph? Well, if it's anything like most cold fronts, a low pressure system sitting off the coast is causing cold air to move down from western Canada. <laughs> That's very interesting. Well, uh, what's new in Washington, Joe? I can't seem to locate my news report here, but if memory serves correct, the story was on Capitol Hill today, Senator Patrick Moynihan's plans for a new federally funded Penn Station died in committee today. The bill would have moved the train station across the street to the historic post office building. WNYX News Time, 1221. Uh, thanks, Joe. Uh, by the way, what's so historic about the post office building? Built in 1908, the post office building was designed by the of Kim Mead and White, one of the earliest proponents of interchangeable machine-made steel girders. Thanks, Joe. Yeah, I guess those two weeks of New York City tour guide school paid off after all, eh, Bill? In the national news, the Congress is deadlocked once again on the issue of farm subsidies. Department of Agriculture officials will meet next week to try to work out a solution. What's up, dude? What's going on? I am fixing my computer. <laughs> <laughs> good, 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 good. I found the problem. Uh, look, I figure that if you can do my job, I can certainly do yours, Joseph. Huh, cool, have fun. How do you like my fake radio voice? Really wasn't listening. Huh. You want me to give you a hand with that when I get Joe, off Joe, really, hand? seriously, just, I think I, okay. yeah, I think I can handle it. Yeah, I think I can handle it. You know that there's capacitors in there? You know yes, about that? Yes, I know. There's capacitors <laughs> in there. <laughs> The capacitors store energy even when they're not being used. Let that big guy, all right. 